Hey, it's Doug Kenny again, the your favorite YouTuber and filmmaker and author. Happy Mother's Day to everybody in this world, and I'm very grateful for my mother, and I wouldn't trade her for any other mother in the world. She's just, she's a very great person and the highest quality human being, and thought I'd do a live Facebook feed again just because I'm an active social media figure, and yeah. Having some NOS Energy drink, which is the cherry-flavored one, and I don't know why, but it's a NASCAR sponsor, and what I don't know why about it is it's uh, it tastes like Dr. Pepper, kind of. tastes like Dr. Pepper, and... It's healthier than most energy drinks, so that's pretty cool. Just enjoying life as we know it. Just enjoying life and checking out all my new subscribers. And listening to my favorite music. Right of the Valkyries is so beautiful. Hey Terry, how you doing? Hope things are going well for you and fam. Better wave to you. It's a beautiful song. this song. Hey Alex, how you doing? I'm going to see if there's another version of it by an actual band. I love this song. Obviously an ad, so stay tuned. Okay. Here's a band version of it, an actual band. Yeah, listening to beautiful music. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Hope things are going very well for you and your racing career. Beautiful. An actual band doing it. It's cool. Love it. Looks like Brad Keselowski won the NASCAR race last night, and everybody who follows me knows I'm not a big fan of his, but, you know, congrats to him. That was a well-deserved win, I'll say. Trying the NASCAR Monster Energy, not Monster Energy, a NOS Energy, which is Kyle Busch's sponsor. love this song. It's just so beautiful. I 
Pride of the Valkyries. Just awesome. Yeah. No wonder a lot of films use this song. It's just so beautiful and mysterious. I'm gonna do something I don't think any of us have done yet. And hey, Cody, how are things? Hope things are going well for you and fam. I'll just, let me see if there's any good NASCAR videos we can watch. While this live Facebook feed, we'll see. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Hey Randall, hope things are going very well. All right, let me see. Kyle Bush wins. Let me see if there's any good Bush wins. And Hey Dylan, how are things? I'm glad to see that you're making strides and recovering from cerebral palsy. That's going very well for you, I think. And let me see. Maybe a Juan Montoya Watkins Glen video might not be bad. And hey Misty, hope things are going very well. Looks like you're doing good in life from what I've seen on Facebook. Hmm. Let me see. Watkins Glen and hey David. Hope things are going well. Watching Montoya's last office. cup win, which was Watkins Glen in 2010. Yeah, Montoya's actually been able to beat Ambrose somewhere between a tenth to two tenths a second per lap, even after Ambrose took over that second spot. Right now, Ambrose's car is not fast enough. Hope your mother's days are going very well to all my friends who are joining me. Because he's nowhere near as fast as Montoya is. So could there be a problem for the 47? Marcus Sanders. Yeah. As he is fading now, it's 4.2 seconds. Uh, over the years, I always pushed really hard like Marcus pushed. And you get to the end of the race and you don't have enough brakes, you don't have enough car. And, yeah. and this year I said, you know, when I got out in the lead, just make sure you save the brakes. When he got behind me, I pushed a little hard, but I was always trying to still, you know, push harder, but don't, you know, don't kill the brakes or anything. Yeah. Way to go there, big boy. That's one for you. Yeah, the one and only jet dryer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder what else there is that's good. Oh, Montoya's last victory lane speech. What the heck, I'll watch that. I'm just going to have to fast forward to the good part. Down through the final corner for the final time. Yes. One month later, yeah. Great job, everybody. We've been working really hard for this. This is what it's all about right here. There's Harvick running out of gas. As Kevin Harvick's fading back, something's wrong with Harvick. Burton is going to get around him. You see McMurray, Stewart, Kyle have come across. Now Burton and Gordon rounds out the top ten, and Harvick slips back to 11. Further back, it's still going to the wire. Newman, Kenseth, Hornish, and Truex in the top 15. And yeah. Kaldenar, Casey Kane, and look at this. Even further back, it is Brad Keselowski taking over the 20th spot over Patrick Carpentier with Pappas, Rudiment, Biffle, and Reagan rounding out the top 25. And Dale Earnhardt Jr., despite starting a very distant 40th today, yeah. comes home in 26. Montoya wins. Juan Pablo Montoya yep. with his second win. Good for him. The last time the 42 won until Kyle Larson did. Yep. Pretty cool. Well, you can see that Juan is savoring the moment, and we will savor it with him in victory lane when we come back. And there the one and only jet dryer. <laughs> okay. Since Juan Pablo Montoya's first ever win in the Sprint Cup 
of Series 1. It's been a tough year for you and this team. It's been an emotional couple of weeks for you guys. Put in perspective what being back here in Victory Lane is like. It is great. You know, we we lost a lot of them and gave away a lot of them. And we, you know, it gets frustrating. and Everybody gets fighting and everything. But, you know, this target team does an amazing job. You know, I want to thank Spring for supporting yeah. this series. An amazing series. I love it. And... It's about time to get another one. <laughs> what is this like? You know your crew chief, this is his first Sprint Cup win as a crew chief in the Cup Series. What does this do for your relationship, proving that you guys can win together? Uh, we have a great relationship. We really understand each other. It's difficult because we're very competitive. And we both want to win. And yesterday we had a really good talk with Hey, Ron. Hope boys. things are going very and well. Now this is Watching Montoya's last game. Congratulations, Juan Pablo Montoya back in victory lane. Marty? Hmm. Wonder what else there is. Sonoma win in the review. I agree with you, Daryl. If Robbie Gordon makes no mistakes, he wins this race. He's Robbie Gordon's win at, the, go. at Sonoma in 2003. It looks like this was posted in 2010. Okay. Hey Lisa, hope things are going very well. This is Robbie Gordon's second cup win. Mm. Ron Bellows had to work for seventh, it looks like, in 2003. Hope things are going well, Lisa. Everybody who's just joined me today, uh, try NOS Energy Drink Cherry. Tastes like Dr. Pepper. <sighs> That's great to hear, Lisa. Glad to see you're doing very good. Happy Mother's Day and welcome, Nick McCrady. I hope things are going very well. At least you're not like Mrs. McCrady in the first Narnia movie. <laughs> That's pretty cool that you're not like that person. Hope things are going well, Nick. Oh, this is probably the closest. Better wave to these people while I have a chance. Emotional win for Robbie Gordon, I'll say. Joy watching it for sure. <laughs> Hey, Cody. Hope things are going very well for you. Looks like we're doing good in life, it looks like. I'm glad to see that. They, they get, they, they're 
they're racers. That's what uh, you got to expect that, and they do a great job, and uh, that's what Richard pays them for, to race one another, and uh, all the guys in the shop do a great job pulling together and making sure... That was one of the few times that the 31 the car won. And, uh, that was pretty cool. Now, uh, Robbie told me he helped design this car. What did he do? Uh, well, he told us where to bend the tube or something, you know. I, <laughs> He's instrumental, you know, he's a great world racer, and uh, he had a lot of thoughts and a lot of ideas, and had, had some guys... Uh, hey Donovan, hope things are going very well for you. Happy Mother's Day to Cody, Nick, and Donovan. Things are going very well, it looks like. Congratulations, Mike, for Carter Richard Childress, his third road course victory. 1983, Riverside, California, with Ricky Rudd, right here with Dale Earnhardt in 95, and now with Robbie Gordon. Hey, Larry, Childress told me about yeah. the wreck the car, but he didn't say anything about blowing it up. Yeah. <laughs> He's been working on that pretty <laughs> hard. <laughs> He's going to accomplish that. Oh, hey, Joey. Haven't seen you since 2016 when I, when I uh, was at Old Pueblo, and hope things are going well for you in the Marine Corps. Been a while since you and I have spoken, and hopefully we can catch up one of these days. You're a very cool guy, Joey, and I miss you, and I miss going to high school with you. Hope things are going well, and happy Mother's Day, Joey. Cool. Yeah. Richard Childress, whose cars have performed extremely yeah. well in the NASCAR. As you know, Joey, I'm a race and fan, and, and so that's what I'm watching on YouTube right now. First time in what, 33 races. First uh, before we get to another video, I think I'll just show off my portrait of Kyle Larson that I hung up yesterday. That's when I uh, met Kyle Larson last year, which was, it was the fourth celebrity I've met, and, you know... It was awesome to meet him, and I have a picture of him from our meeting together that's hung on our wall, and, you know, it's pretty cool. It was awesome to meet Kyle Larson, and he's become my new favorite NASCAR driver, and rightfully so, and, all right. I think I'll watch another video, which was Lowe's Motor Speedway in 2009 with Robbie Gordon. And welcome, Robbie Gordon, to Trackside. Trackside, yep. Yeah. There's a cowboy hat. <laughs> Let me see that hat. What's the significance of the hats here, Robbie? Well, we got uh, we got some good stuff going on. We got Montgomery Gentry here, and you got cowboy hats. So you don't need. I don't need cowboy hats. But, um, that's a good call on his. Montgomery part. Gentry here this weekend with us. Oh, okay. Uh, Jim Beam, my sponsor, has a concert going on tomorrow night. Should be a good time. Yeah. See, Jim unlike Bean. Hammond, I've got a hat and cattle. See, he doesn't have this hat fits a little better than the hat Hammond gave me at Texas last yeah. year. Yeah, I like that's this. That's Robbie for well, you. Look like Juan Valdez. <laughs> How you doing, young man? I think we're I okay. Did, you know, I, I almost have to rethink that. I just realized you are 40 years old. Isn't that a great thing? But no, I, well, here's why I say that. I still think you as being a kid. The way you play, the, the way, way, the way you, I act, maybe. The, way, the way you just you race anything, everything, anywhere, anytime. Yeah. I mean, how do you keep that up? That's Robbie for you. Good people, I guess. Um, just working hard and you know making sure all the programs are, are lined out. But um, we got a lot of races coming up um, this month and beginning of next month uh, between Eldora stuff and Baja. Yeah. And, and obviously the All Star Race here. We'll do some next weekend. So, uh, to the people that and, and we've this. already been. We're going to be in this deal next year. Before we have to be voted in, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm made over. up your mind. We're done. We're over with it. We started testing our road course program one week ago, and um, we've never been six weeks out on a road course program. So uh, built new race cars, two brand new ones, and uh, they're hot rods. So we were very good down in Road Atlanta, and uh, look forward to uh, to seeing how we stack up going the next uh, say the next month. We're going every single week testing. Yeah. And we'll see Sending out up. another you know, autograph that's request that's to the guy I met know, last year, Kyle here, Larson, say, okay, uh, and doing, doing it on behalf of a friend and, race, and you know, just to be nice to him, him and, you know, uh, hopefully uh, I can see my friend Jimmy again soon. Love that kid, and he'll be glad to see I met another NASCAR driver. That's pretty cool. Having good runs, but... um. You know, there's, there's right. 20 guys that can win races on any given weekend. When you go to the road course, there's yeah. seven of us probably, maybe no, five. Definitely smaller. And, yeah. and um, you know, if we if we can be prepared and focused and, and have a have a 20 percent shot at winning that race, and make sure we dot all our eyes across our T's, uh, we're gonna go for it. So um, 
look forward to Sonoma coming up, and I'm, I'm ready for the All-Star race. I think our car is pretty good. We are 12th in practice. Um, we only made one qualifying run, and we were too tight, which was nice that we got to make one before we had to qualify at night, because I think that's going to be important. Daryl, you kind of look like Howdy Doody. He's struggling. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just never, Robbie I never, Gordon I never had for a hat, you know? Okay. Robbie, a Darryl full face helmet, maybe, but not a hat. <laughs> Daryl mentioned one thing that, that impresses me, and it's the fact that you, you never look about it. But the other thing that impresses me about you, it, it, being a single car owner, and when you look at so many cars out here week in and week out with blank quarter panels, you seem like you do a good job of keeping sponsorship on that car. I mean, you get it from Jim Beam, Menards, Monster Energy Drink, you had Quaker State at Darlington. You do a good job of keeping companies involved with your race team. Yeah, we have, we have obviously my pay. We've, we've got a, a tremendous group of sponsors that, um, that fill the sponsorship on the seven car. And, yeah. you know... Um, how you say it? We just, we just keep digging, and we, we work hard every week in and week out, not only on the race cars, but on the sponsorship. And I think we got some really good stuff coming with our race cars. And I look forward to the second half of the season. Robbie, Steve brought that out. You know, you've driven everything. I think you've raced everything. And ha only I haven't heard you mention it. Try that, Energy you know, Drink, car. SOS, eventually. Or why NASCAR? No, I mean, why did you decide to stay? I mean, you can go off-road racing, and you can, you can win every time you show up. You can go to back to Indy, and you're very competitive up there. But you take on, I mean, what I consider the toughest circuit, the longest season there is, and you kind of decide to put your ownership and all your, kind of like, you know, all your effort here. Why? Well, um, yeah. if it was easy, everybody would do it. And, and I think um, when you come to this level, you're racing the best teams in America, and that's what we thrive to do. Um, yeah. You know, with our off-road program, we, we feel we're one of the best teams. We won the first race this year. We finished second. The second one, we finished third in the Dakar Rally up against Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, BMW, Mercedes, uh, teams like that with our Hummer program. And, um, you know, I think that um, this is the, if you're going to strut your stuff, the Cup Series is where it's at. Um, you know, we've, we went bush racing, and, you know, I, I, with our own team, we won in race 10. It was, it was hard to say it was easy. Um, maybe a lot like the off-road. When you step up to the cup level, this is the big leagues. And you race against teams like Hendrick and Roush, Childress, who obviously I was fortunate enough to, to learn some experience, gain a lot of experience, spent three and a half years there. And um, I learned a lot from Richard. I've driven for Jack before in the Trans Am cars. And these are the, these are the players that, that build the best race teams in America. And that's something we thrive to do. Robbie, I was doing some research, and I didn't realize that uh, your dad was quite a legend in his own right. They called him Baja Bob. I, I want you to tell us a little bit what it's like. I know you've won the Baja 1000 at least three times. Yeah. How does that race even happen? Talk about the logistics and, and just what goes into it. Well, it's that, that, that race there is so different than anything we do here. It's um, night and day. Um, because here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, every mile and a half, I can come in and see my pit crew. There... You may go 200 miles without seeing a person wow. <laughs> and um, at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so your preparation on your race cars have to be, sorry to say, as far superior to what we do here. Um, the reason why is the suspension, the bumps, the rattles, the shakes, the vibrations that you get. Um, if you don't yeah. use Loctite and you don't torque every nut and bolt, stuff just falls off the car. Learning and, from and, a legend, tell me about say, what happened, a racing uh, legend. In the race where you got lost. Or at least they said you got lost. Or got you got off course. Or what did you do anyway? What was that about? Well, I mean, is that a bad? Should I not ask you that? No, you can ask me. I, but I, I was just I think curious. At the, at the end of the day, they opened up the rules here a little bit, and they said you can, as long as you make the checkpoints. That's what they said at the drivers' meeting. So at the end of the day, that's what I did. You made. I all made them. the checkpoints. Um, did I get on the highway? No. Okay. Would I like to get on the highway? Yes. Especially for the first thirty miles, because it's nothing but three foot tall bumps for 30 miles straight the shock temperatures go to about 650 degrees through those bumps and um it's you know you'd love to get on the highway there but other places uh we, we basically race the course we cut corners i mean that's everybody does it when they open up the rules like that we come back to the bottom 500 obviously they've tightened up their rules yeah. and, and no different than i think after say, this hey, video i'll we'll conclude our live video and because my phone's so nearly you dead you so yeah just made a new one we just we just kind of refined the rule book refined a little bit okay yeah. what's that my girls 
Uh, I'm talking to the producer. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling me, I think, that the Grand Marshal at Sonoma is going to be Kenny Stabler, the Snake. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You all look at me. <laughs> you got caught this time on the talk back right there, huh? Way to pay attention there, Robbie. <laughs> I was like, hey, they quit talking. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 the Baja thing, I didn't do anything more different than, than Hammond and McReynolds do in NASCAR, you know, push, no. push the rules. Pays more to win, right? Yes, and I was talking to Daryl, speaking of paying. Yeah, look. And, and I'm, I'm pretty bummed that I'm not in the burnout contest. Like, I've got it down. If you do a backwards S and a burnout straight through it, you can do the dollar sign. So, um, he wants me to do There's it. your challenge. There do it, it is. The dollar sign. Do the dollar sign. I told him I only got 30 seconds. You can do it. You, well, how long does it take you to do it? You can do I it. I have no idea. I mean, you ever seen how fast they go down drag strip? That's only four and a half seconds. Might take me 30 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Time will Yeah. All right. I got to conclude this live now. Thank you for joining me, and I'll keep doing this in the future. Thanks for joining, joining uh, Joey, Donovan, Cody, Nick, Lisa, Ron, David, Misty, Dylan, Randall, Cody, Andrew, Alexander, Terry, Dane, and Darlene. Thanks for joining. I wish y'all a splendid Mother's Day.